In this video, we are going to cover a basic SAM installation. One quick thing to mention, if you haven't already done so, please review the video Preparing an Orion SAM Installation Before Continuing, as we will discuss system requirements and best practices involving server setup. To begin your SAM installation, you'll need to gather the following information. Your SolarWinds ID or SolarWinds customer portal information. This is automatically emailed to whoever is listed as the purchaser. If you haven't received your login, check with your finance team and also check your junk mail folders. You'll need the local administrator account for the server you plan to install SAM on. Don't use a domain administrator account for this. The bona fide local administrator is necessary for a smooth installation, as a domain admin account can be subject to domain GPOs. Before installing SAM, make sure your SQL server installation has been completed. You'll also need the SA account password. This is used during initial configuration only. SAM will set up its own standard user account for reading and writing to the SAM database during the initial configuration. Double check your system specs and ensure they match the recommended system requirements for your chosen installation size. Ideally, they should be slightly higher to allow for growth into the future. For more information, as mentioned a moment ago, please watch Preparing a SAM Installation, where we discuss server sizing in depth for small, medium, and large environments. And finally, make sure your software prerequisites have been installed. This includes the .NET Frameworks 3.5 and 4.0 and IIS in 32-bit mode. This was also covered in the Prep Steps segment of the Preparing a SAM Installation video. I'm first going to show you how to navigate the customer portal and download the software. From the customer portal page, enter your account credentials and log in. Then hover over the license management option near the top of the page. Select My Downloads. Then select the desired product from the dropdown, in this case SAM, then click Download. Now that the software has been downloaded, I'm going to step through how to install and configure SAM. You'll need to decide where to place the installation. If you have the option to, it's a good practice to have the operating system and page file on one logical drive and the application files on a second. Please note that if you do choose to install SAM on a separate drive, some install files will still be placed on the OS drive under Program Files in the Common Files folder. Make sure you are logged in with the local administrator account for the server. Extract the install files and then start the installation. Choose your installation location. The default is C colon backslash program files x86 backslash SolarWinds backslash Orion. Then click on Next. Select Enable QoE Traffic Monitoring if you want to enable QoE monitoring on your Orion server. Then click Next. The installer will then extract all the needed files. After the installer has completed, click on Finish. Once the installer is done, the configuration wizard will automatically start. For now, I'll skip licensing, as we discuss it later. The Configuration Wizard will guide you through the configuration steps for your SAM server. It configures the database, website, and services for you, but there's a few details you'll need to provide. The first task will be to set up the SAM database. For this, you'll need to provide the SQL server details, including the IP address or host name, and the SA username and password. The SA username and password is required in order for the configuration wizard to have sufficient access rights to create a new SAM database. The SA account will not be used again after that point. On the next screen, you will be asked to enter the name for your new SAM database. On the following screen, you will need to configure the username and password for the new SQL user account. This is the account SAM will use to access its database and is a standard user account. The Configuration Wizard will then ask you to enter a location for your SAM web console. This is best left as the default, in its own Orion directory under the IIS INET pub directory. You will also be asked whether or not the website should use HTTPS and what port the site should use for communication. Unless there are any pressing reasons to change this, they can be left at the defaults, port 80 for HTTP traffic, or port 443 if you need to set it up as a secure site. 
The configuration wizard will take a while to run, around 15 to 20 minutes, though this will depend on the environment's performance. When the configuration wizard completes, it will summarize the steps taken and notify you of any errors it encountered. If you do encounter any errors in the config wizard, please open a support ticket so that we can assist you in solving the issue. The configuration wizard will automatically open up the new Orion SAM web console ready for you to begin to configure your environment. In the next video, we'll talk about how to use the discovery wizard to discover your environment and how to begin to monitor your servers and applications.